And we're live. Sorry, it's late. Here we go. David, you're first tonight. Look at that. Here we go. David, you're first tonight. Look at that. And Gavin's here. PA Dan. Well, as you guys can see, I'm uh my PJs. So <laughs> uh I just had like a Hour and a half nap. Andy Mellon. This is, you know, family friendly around here. Although, pretty... Yeah. Vince and Barry, how's it going? Um, so I didn't get the steel fuel line. I went today to the dealer and checked. They didn't get FedEx in today. So tomorrow I'm swamped. So that's not going to happen. Uh, so then Friday, if they get it in, then I'll be able to do that. I, I'm off Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, which is cool. Um, So the fuel line for the two. Okay. Then what else? What else did I not get? Oh, I didn't get a uh, carburetor kit for the Briggs and Stratton engine that I wanted to do, and I didn't really feel like going out to the shed and grabbing it and bringing it in here tonight. So those two things that I was considering working on. Um, not gonna do but I guess what I could do is take apart another carburetor and do that because I've got these Walbro uh, the WJ 71s which are 394 carburetors that I happen to find brand new these are not likely to be found anymore so if anybody wants one they better go grab them Oh yeah, the the 350. Um, the 350 is I think it's gonna be fine, but I I'm waiting on parts. So I I in a rage the other night I just bought a whole pile of parts from HL Supply and um, e replacement parts and SLE equipment and just bought a whole pile of stuff and it is on its way. Actually, I'm kind of hoping for uh, Saturday delivery on a lot of that stuff. So if that's the case, then Saturday night we're putting together the 350, put that thing back together and get that going. Um, so I, yeah, the, the 350 is not hopeless. I'm hoping that the 44.3 millimeter cylinder uh, piston fits the cylinder. I don't remember whether it's 44 because they're, they're aftermarket heads, so it might be a 44 that looks like a 346 XP, and 346 XP technically is either 42 or 44.3. Um, Highway makes 45 millimeter heads that look like 346 XP, the quad port and everything, but they're 40, yeah, they're 45. So, and just to mess you up, there is an OEM 45 millimeter cylinder, but it's the pseudo open port one with the removable transfer covers. Anyway, um, I ordered a 44.3 piston. We'll see if it fits. 
if it doesn't, I'm just going to throw the old piston back in there after I clean it up a bit and pray that it works. Okay, what carb are you talking about? The carburetor I'm holding in my hand here is a Walbro WJ71. This carburetor is for 394s. And the the one eighty Barry the one eighty one is finished. Uh, that that has been running um, for a bit. Other than losing a bolt here or there, it's been it's been end. The uh, the starter cord tends to pull out, but uh, other than that, it's been running good. There you have it. Yeah, these these are WJ seventy ones. The um, the carburetors that were on the three ninety fours, if I get it right here, are the WJ thirty nines, the seventies, and the seventy ones. So WJ thirty nine, WJ seventy, WJ seventy one. The seventy ones are the brand new ones that you can sort of still get. The you know if if you can find them. Um, I think e replacement parts has them, but they're like a hundred and fifty bucks. I was finding them on eBay a while ago for forty dollars, which is a whole lot more reasonable. But I, I can't find the forty dollar deal anymore. <laughs> eh, I I should have bought that guy out. Anyway. So the nice, the new carburetors are nice to throw on the 394s, um, especially ones that you ha that if you're going to be selling them, it's nice to throw out, throw a nice new carburetor on there. And so I do intend um, to put this on the 394s that I'm working on because I do intend to sell them. So if any, let me know. Yeah, if you can find a WJ thirty nine for fifty bucks, you've done really, <clears throat> really, really well, because those technically are the more desirable ones for whatever reason. I, I don't know. I got five of them here. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. So the issue with the uh, the ones that I got the other day where they, they didn't have the fast idle parts. And I did order fast idle parts from e-replacement parts, but it's going to be a bit before it comes in. So I can either pull apart the carburetor. Well, see, I've already... This carburetor theoretically should be good. This is WJ39. This should be good to go. really love to do is find that silly spring that popped out the other night. I just haven't looked for it. Uh, on the on the WJ39, well, uh, let's take one apart. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you what's cooking. So I, this one I, I worked on, so just to make Larry happy. I'm just going to write on here J39. I'm gonna I think it's good. Good to go. So that one I'm gonna keep there. That one over there is sort of a parts carburetor. This one's a parts carburetor. Yeah, so th this has the fast idle mechanism on it. And the fast idle mechanism, um, all that it is is this black flag and a little spring in here. But to get to it... Oh, 
no, no, uh, choke on here. Well, that, that'll make it easier. So let's bring you down here. Look and see what I'm doing. Larry, I think they all take the same kits. I think the 394s all take the same kits. Or uh, all the WJs take the same kits, rather. But I think the, the WJ39 is the more desirable of the carburetors. I just don't know why. So this is the 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 choke rod choke shaft. Yeah, and and the choke shaft moves. It, it, it will move, especially if the uh, the choke flap, the butterfly, isn't there. And these small parts get lost easy. So what's nice is I've got the other carburetors that are here to give me a um, a reference as far as what the configuration of these uh, flaps are. So this is where the choke handle itself attaches. And if you notice the holes... The big holes on either side, they're more or less configured towards each other as opposed to if you move this around on the shaft this direction. It would definitely be going the wrong way. So, yeah, there are flats on this side that help orient you. So then, when you're pulling this out, you wouldn't hardly notice, but there's a hole right here. And under that hole is a ball and a spring. And on the other one that I had, I did that, and the ball and spring went flying. Let's actually, let's take it out and see. Let's see what it looks like because then I can compare it. I actually found the ball, but I don't know where the spring is. And when I clean out all the stuff over here, I might actually find it. There's the ball. There's the spring. So it's a ball detent that actually sits in a spot right in a spot here on the shaft. So when it, it when it actually clicks into place, it clicks. <clears throat> okay, so we're not going to worry about that for the moment. We need this spring and the black high idle piece. And again, we have other carburetors for reference, so I don't really wor worry about it. So the brand new carburetor, I have to take apart, unfortunately.
And these screws are going to get Loctited back on, by the way. This comes out again. Ball and spring did not go flying. That's good. Okay, take another parts carburetor here and look at it. Okay, so that part of the fast attach goes on first. This piece, so grab that. That's how that goes. Now, if you're doing this, you only have a single one. Obviously, when you're taking things apart, you really need to take photos and whatnot. So I just click it right into the high idle position. And there are two little flaps here that basically help position this. I am going to use some red Loctite on this. This is not one of those parts that is good to have come out on you. you know? Hey, William. Yeah, Larry, supposedly the, the WJ39s are the more desirable ones, but that I'm, I'm unsure of why.
pound of it on there, just a little bit. Click, choke off, pull the throttle. Click, choke off, click, yeah. As soon as you hit the throttle, the choke comes off. There you have it. Cool. Roadrunner. Is the ball and spring kind of a detent for high idle? Yeah, so let's because it's the the ball and spring detent is is in here, not here or here, but it's in here and it allows this to find that position, I think. It it allows open position to be kind of like the default. And then it sits once the choke is off. It, uh, it because you want the default to be the open position, right? Choke on is you've pulled it out, but if you feel it, you can feel kind of that it wants to find a home there. Yeah, so there you have that brand new carburetor here ready to go for when I get uh, the rest of the parts for that other 394. Um, still peddling my wares here. Anybody wants 394s, I got two of them. Or at least I will. Put that down there because we know that one's going on that. Let's see if we can put this back together. Or better yet, let me look for the spring for two minutes. I may find it. Because it's small, but it's not that small. So it makes sense to uh, that I may actually be able to find it. Some really tiny stuff, I mean, forget it. But the thing is, it might be actually up here on the bench. It could be quite convenient if you think about it. Of course, I might I might find it, you know, a, a year from now when I'm cleaning something out. Or I might vacuum it up. Which, of course, would be very depressing. It went flying, it really did. No, I'm not gonna bother trying the rest of the night here. I don't think there, it can be really substituted for pretty much anything else. Maybe on another carburetor, um, there's a similar spring, but... Yeah, on, an RWJ, on the RWJs, which are for the X-Torx, it's got to be a similar thing. 
but the uh, the black plastic mechanism is different for high idle. So I'll bet you find the same spring in there. Let's put this back that way. Actually, this. This carburetor is more complete than that one. Hmm. Hey, Justin. Yes, everybody needs to buy my 394s. There's no question about that. So yeah, this one's actually a nicer model here. Oh, you know, I don't have the the high idle piece, so there's really no point in putting it back together. Just put all this stuff in here as parts. I should make up another good carburetor, though. That would make sense to do, right? Yeah, that sounds right, Vince. You know, somebody says, hey, I like these the best, and then... That's why I say supposedly the WJ39s are the best for 394. I have not personally been able to tell the difference. There are so many other factors that factor into the performance of a 394 that I just don't, you know, have a really good handle on what the actual difference is, if any. All right, so I'm not going to lose those parts there. If we, When I get the new parts, I will start putting together a good carburetor. Although what I should do is look for carburetor kits for those, which I think I have. So over the years, I've gotten a carburetor box here. All kinds of miscellaneous carburetor parts. See, I, I, w I wonder if a spring like even that would work. Not heavy enough, probably. Tillotson 288. I think that's for a 200T. RB69, who knows? I have all different types of meeting level lever springs. K10HD. Pretty sure these go to the WJs. Eleven WJ. That should work. Put that with that too. I, 
can't believe I only have one, though. Pretty sure this goes these guys. Let's see. Yep. Throw that in there. Got all kinds of other parts. All kinds of goodies. I don't see a spring that would be similar to the same spring rate as the other one. The rest of these are metering springs. Okay, don't worry about that. All these goodies back. All these there. All right, so I have a carburetor kit for that. But it looks like I'm... A little short on carburetor kits for 394s, so I can order some more of those. All right, that goes down here. Of course, unless it's in here. Larry, I know the tillets and carbs are three to five had changeable just three nine is totally different style. Yes. Did you have a good Christmas? Yes we did. Yes we did. Um the kids are buried in Legos, so you know. They were buried in Legos before we had Christmas, and uh, now they're more buried. I wanted to see if the carburetor kits were in here. If I have remember seeing any. Carburetor kits for 394s. Okay. 390. Someone used compressed air, blew on it, blew out the check valve, drove me nuts. The air leak. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Alright, what else do we have cooking? Probably nothing tonight. Um, nothing much here, so I'm just waiting on a whole pile of stuff. I did get, for the Briggs and Stratton, I did get, I got some fuel line, and it shut off, and then tank and carburetor. They tell me this is directional. I don't know. Seems like it blows <laughs> fine both directions. It's just a screen in there. Whatever. Um, so I do have stuff for the, the Briggs and Stratton motor. Hopefully we'll get to that uh, Friday. What else? Um, I have limited kits left, guys. I got to go to the machinist and drop off all the stuff. I imagine I'm going to do that, if not Friday, then this weekend for sure. I have to get down to the machinist. I have to drop off nearly 300 pieces of threaded rod and see if we can get that going. So, Because I am nearly out on kits again.
So if anybody wants one, gotta let me know. What more did Dad get the splitter or Honda? Dad, he got the um, the Briggs commercial duty, supposedly. I, I, I haven't seen it. I don't know, this, this Briggs lasted like, I mean, Dad's had the splitter for years. When did he start splitting with the splitter? I was in my early teens. So he says, I've had it for 15 years. No, I, I think it's been longer. I think it's like 20, 25 years he's had this silly thing, and he really has done basically nothing to it except new spark plug every now and again change the oil and it actually did really good right up until now so he's and it's just a five horsepower motor he got i think it's a for the uh for the splitter is what he had and now we just have the five horse sitting so i gotta see if i can get it to run again if i can get it to run then we have a spare motor for whatever, you know. Yeah, he, he definitely got used. I mean, it's a splitter like crazy. He, uh, he used to hand split everything, and he got frustrated. And It must have been in the late 80s or early 90s when he picked up the splitter, and he picked it up for, like, cheap and it's got a pretty heavy ram on it and a pretty heavy hydraulic cylinder on it and it's worked great for him ever since i mean he's gotten a lot of use out of that thing he used to hand split now he definitely doesn't anymore you know Anybody interested in a 394 or tools? Yes, no. Tools. Who just showed up? 17 people here. Somebody just showed up and they want to buy a 394 for sure. Just so you guys know, it's not going to kill me to keep them. I just, I have really no need for them. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll call it a night then. Um, if nobody has anything else, I'm, I'm tapped out. I got to go to bed. I'm definitely getting more organized here in the basement, which is awesome. Very, very slowly but surely, we're going to move stuff out. And, uh, yeah. Too much junk. <laughs> Thanks, David. Vance, good night. Great seeing everybody. Um, and hopefully I'll be, I probably won't be on tomorrow night, probably not going to be on Thursday night, but, uh, Friday night, I'm going to try to come on and, and, or Friday afternoon or whatever it is, we'll try to do something Friday and, uh, and other stuff this weekend, just waiting on parts. Okay. You guys have a great one. Everybody be safe, take care, all that stuff. And, uh, we'll see you soon.